Rising fire, not getting lighter See the light getting brighter My eyes can comprehend the future ahead Magandang hapon po muli sa ating lahat and welcome back sa ating pong online daily devotion and prayer. So tayo po ay nagpapatuloy sa topic po natin na nakafocus po sa at pagpapalakas sa bawat isa at syempre po we're gonna have time to pray later. So today po, I'm gonna share with you about 
uh, the topic waymaker. So, I'm sure yung iba po sa atin naging parang medyo national anthem natin ito sa church. Ito pong kantang Waymaker ni Lilan. Kung di nyo pa po yung napapakinggan, pwede nyo po yung uh, pakinggan or panoorin. And it's a, it's a song na ina-emphasize lang po that Jesus is our Waymaker. Yung po yung lyrics yun dun sa chorus. Waymaker, a miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. At When we say Jesus is our waymaker, ano po ba ibig sabihin nun? So, yun po yung aalamin natin ngayon. And before po tayo magpatuloy sa pag-aaral po natin ngayong hapon, uh, I would like to encourage everyone to join us as we do our acts of faith. Uh, pag first time niyo po ngayon, uh, simple lang po yung gagawin natin at ikagahid po namin kayo sa gagawin natin para sama-sama natin uh, ma-welcome ang bawat isa. So, una po is to... click on the share button so you can share this to your friends especially sa Facebook you can tag them or you can um, mention them sa mga messenger nila so that's the first one and then you can click on the thumbs up or like button para po mabalikan nyo po itong video na to and um, mas madali nyo siyang ma-access and then third is to also comment where you're watching from or who you're watching with para po ma-welcome po kayo ng bawat isa na nanonood ngayon sa ating uh, online daily devotion. And then fourth is to like and subscribe our Facebook at ito nga pong YouTube channel natin. Sa Facebook po natin yung Christ International Fellowship Makati at sa atin dito po sa YouTube channel yung CIF TV. And last po is our giving. So let's continue to bless the ministry of the Lord dito po sa CIF as we share our Uh, online giving and also as we continually support yung ating pong pagre-rebuild dito po sa ating church as we um, give our donation you can also continually give your donation sa rebuilding po ng ating uh, ministry at ng ating church so again maraming salamat po for joining us this afternoon and again ako po si Pastor Chris at ang topic nga po natin is about Waymaker so when we say Waymaker Ba, unang, ano yung unang pumapasok sa isip natin? So, siguro yung iba sasabihin, daan, bakalsada, or parang ano, um, uh, ano tawag dito? Path, yan, sasakyan, diba? So, it, it talks about journey, or yung parang may nilalakaran ka. And this afternoon po, mag-share po ako ng dalawang um, parang examples in the Bible showing Jesus as our waymaker. And na-share ko na po ito before sa Wednesday Warriors Worship, navigating through trials. And when you say, parang connected kasi siya, Jesus as our waymaker and navigating through trials, it shows about direction. So sometimes, um, when we are lost, ba doon natin mas kailangan ng direction? Actually, hindi lang pag lost tayo eh. When we are about to start a journey or when we are um, in the midst of uh, ano, a crossroad sa life mo. Pag sinabi pong crossroad kasi ang analogies natin ngayon more on sa daan kasi nga waymaker yung topic natin. When we say crossroad, di ba yun yung pag kuna nasa stoplight ka, um, ano siya, uh, apat yung pwedeng daanan. Diretso, kaliwa, kanan, or yung saan ka nang galing. So yun po yung crossroad. And when you're in the midst of a crossroad or naliligaw ka or magsistart ka ng journey, important na alam mo yung direction mo. And if, for example, at this time you are lost, if, for example, at this time you are at a crossroad, if, for example, at this time you're about to start a journey, whether sa trabaho, sa pag-aaral, sa business, sa relationship, or whatever, you want to have direction. And if you want to have direction in life, or in your circumstance ngayon, you have to look to Jesus as your waymaker. So, two points. Jesus as our waymaker is our light. Yan po yung una-una. Sabi po sa John 8 verse 12, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of light. So again, Jesus himself, i-direct ka niya as the light para hindi ka maglakad sa dilem or sa struggle. Yung struggle mo, maaring mga challenges that is coming away yung darkness mo. 
or maaring nagtatraverse ka through sin na parang lost ka and you want Lord gusto ko nang maka makapiglas dito sa kasalanan Lord gusto ko nang makaalis dito sa sitwasyon ko na lost ako di ko alam kung saan ba ako papunta sa life na to dapat patuloy po natin i-declare magsa-start na tayo ng bagong buwan okay April na and this year as you face the new month then dapat patuloy mong i-declare and i-confess na Lord gusto ko nang maglakad towards the light gusto ko nang talikuran hindi ko na babalikan yung dating daan kung saan nandun yung mga heartbreaks mga failures disappointments vices unconfessed sins kaya lahat yan dapat isama mo as we pray this afternoon as you pray every day as you pray doon meron po tayong 24 hours prayer isuko mo na yung lahat kay Lord Isa pang verse na connected about light, sabi ko sa Psalms 119, verse 105, Your word is a lamp to my feet and the light to my path. So when we say waymaker, it talks about journey, it talks about walking direction towards something. And when Jesus is your waymaker, sabi ko sa Psalms 119, His word or His um, message atin, His direction is a lamp unto our feet. So sa bawat lakad mo, siya'y mag-iilaw and a light to our path parang sa kalsada di ba yung street light malayo pa lang may kita mo na yung dinadaanan mo parang yung lighthouse din malayo pa lang nakikita mo na yung daanan mo I remember po nung nag-work pa ako there was one time um, galing kami sa uh, isang gathering sa bahay po nung boss namin and paglabas namin dun sa bahay nila nakatira siya sa Muntinlupa paglabas namin Mariwanag pa doon sa village. Pero paglabas namin doon sa main road, madilim na. So instead na dapat kakaliwa kami, pap- na- kumanan kami kasi hindi ka namin makita. So hindi namin alam sa baka magpunta. Wala pang ways po that time. So dapat pag kumaliwa kami, yun na yung pabalik ng Manila. Eh, doon pa lang paglabas pala namin dahil madilim, hindi namin alam yung pupuntahan namin, kumanan kami. Ang tagal na po namin nagbabiyahe. Mag, ano po yung late night na siya late night na natapos yung gathering tapos parang wala, wala kami makitang familiar na parang wala pa, parang wala pa tayong nadaan ng ganito hanggang sa ang layo na ng nabiyahe namin na-realize lang po namin na naliligo na pala kami nung tumingin kami sa mga signboard ang nakalagay na po ay Cavite so from Muntinlupa napadpad po kami sa Cavite dahil sa hindi ka, wala kaming light na nagkagabay sa daan namin. Yes, may mga street light that time pero hindi siya gumagana. Di ba usually may mga ganong daan parang sa, sa daan, parang isang street light lang yung meron. So that is why it is important that if we want to walk towards the direction that God wants for us, we need the light. And we have the light in us and that is Jesus. Kung anak ka ng Diyos ngayon na nanonood ka, if you have Jesus in you, you have the light. Bakit? Kasi sabi po doon sa unang verse natin, John 8.12, sabi po ni Jesus, I am the light of the world. So if we have the light in us, then even if you are traversing in darkness, lost ka, your challenge, then you will always and always find direction. Why? Because Jesus is in you. The light is in you. He is the way maker. Galing no? You have the light in you. Jesus is in you. So, may ilaw ka na. Tapos sabi pa doon sa Psalms 119 at Jesus as our way maker, iilawan niya pa yung daan mo. Siyang ka pa. May hawa ka ng ilaw, iilawan niya pa yung bawat lakad mo, iilawan niya pa yung buong daan mo. So, may ilaw kang kasama. So, you will always, always find direction. At yung pangalawa po, Jesus as our way maker is also our compass. He points us to the right direction. Again, isa pong symbolism ng direction ay compass. Kung alam ko nakagamit na tayo dito ng compass, pero nung college po, meron kaming um, sports na ang tawag ay orienteering. And Jesus, as our direction, He's our compass. He will always point us to the right direction. Sabi nga po sa Psalm 16 verse 11, You make known to me the path of life. In your presence, there is fullness of joy at your right hand are pleasures forevermore. At sabi rin po sa Psalms 25 verse 4, Make me to know your ways, O Lord. Teach me your path. So we have a compass. Kung, kung meron po tayong compass, kung di ka pa nakagamit, ang compass po, pag tumayo ka, kung nasaan ka mang direction, it will always adjust to point north. Okay, so kanwari, dito ka nakaharap, eh ang north ay nandito. So mag-adjust yung compass 
na nandito yung north para alam mo always meron kang starting point kung nasaan ka. Just like in life, if Jesus is your life compass, He will always point you to the right direction. Na pag ikaw na lost ka na, when you're headed to the wrong direction, God will call you. God will always call your attention na wait lang anak, hindi yan yung tamang direction. Kasi nga, Jesus is our waymaker. He is our compass. He will always point us to the right direction. So, again, in life, we always try our best to direct our lives. Yun kasi yung ano natin, yung nature natin. Napilit natin kinokontrol yung mga bagay na kaya natin makontrol kasi ang takot natin ay kapag ilet go natin yun, baka mawala or baka magkagulo. But this afternoon as we pray, Jesus is telling us, I will bring you to a life of prosperity and abundance. Yun yung sinabi dun sa verse but you have to let me direct you. Kailangan ibigay mo na yung steering wheel kay Lord para siya na yung mag-drive ng life mo. Kaya nga, sasamahan ka ni Lord na ma-achieve yung plano mo, plano niya sa'yo this year, pero kailangan ipagkatiwala mo yung buong buhay mo sa Kanya. As I end, naalala ko lang po, nung pagpasok ng 2020, lahat ng tao excited. Kasi ang thinking nila, 2020, double blessing yun, kasi 2020. Tapos ang dami nagsabi, pagdating nung uh, February, March, lalo na nung March yung nagkaroon ng pandemic, nung lockdown. Sabi nila, maraming nagsabi, malas yung 2020. Kasi ang daming nangyari nun. But you know, I saw in 2020 yung grace ni Lord. Why? Kasi naging doble talaga yung grace niya. Kasi kung di nagdoble yung grace ng Panginoon sa atin, maaring maraming sa atin po ay wala na dito. Nag-struggle ka na, na-loss ka na, you totally lost your way. And this year, ang theme po natin as a church is anointed to multiply. And even if parang hindi ko, Lord, parang hindi ko naman nakikita na mayroong multiplication na nangyari. Lord, parang the past few months, parang di naman yun yung nangyari. Parang instead na mag-multiply, parang lalo akong nawalan. Parang Lord, instead na mag-multiply, parang lalong nabawasan. But you know, I remember yung song again, yung title po natin, Will Maker. Sabi po dun sa lyrics ng song, Even when I don't see it, see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. And God is a God who never stops working in our lives. He will always point us to the right direction. Ang compass, hindi naman yun lalagyan ng battery. Pero it stays the same. Kung saan ka tumayo, it will always point north. Yung light, basta si Jesus yung light, may hindi mawawalan yung light. Kasi lagi ka connected to the source. So kaya po as we pray, let us look to the Lord and let us seek His direction in our lives. And let us remember in prayer yung mga meets po natin mga loved ones po natin and together we're gonna come to Him and pray and uh, surrender our lives to Him and ask for direction. And we're gonna pray for our country, for our leaders, and for our needs. So join me in prayer. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you so much for this afternoon na ang mga faithful prayer warriors nyo have gathered once again to intercede in prayer. Unang-una, Lord God, for our leaders, we lift up the Lord, our IPHC, our International Pentecostal Holiness Church leaders, our G12 leaders, Lord God, sa pangunguna, Lord, ni, uh, uh, sa IPHC, ni Reverend Doug B. Cham, sa G12, Lord God, Pastor Cesar Castellanos. Lord, we know that as you bless our leaders in our authority, the blessing will flow. So we receive the blessing that comes from them, Lord God, that flows from you, that Lord, you will give us all direction, we will look to you, Lord God, as our light, as our compass, so that you will point us to the right direction. Be good health, healing, Lord God, strength, vision, Panginoon, sa aming mga leaders, even to our CF pastors, especially to Pastor Gani, Pastor Ates, we continually speak for comfort, for strength, for direction sa kanila, Panginoon. We know, Lord, that you are their light, you are their compass, and I know you will point them to the direction that you have planned for them from the start of this year. Lord, I know that you're the God of, you are our Alpha and Omega. You are our beginning and our end. What you started in their lives this year, Lord, I know you will complete it. And so we pray that as you bless them, you also bless their God, the rest of the pastoral team of our church. Lord, as we prepare as a church, Lord God, for our upcoming CIF Family Day, we pray, God, that you give us the, the, the drive, the joy, Para Lord, makapag-gather kami. We have that fellowship, that bonding, so that we will be revived, Lord God. We will be refreshed. We will be renewed, Lord. 
para magkaroon kami ng new sense of direction, new sense of um, leading Lord God as we traverse to the next to the next uh, months of this year together Lord God because you have anointed us to multiply. We thank you Lord God we also pray for every uh, church represented that you will raise up our leadership Panginoon you will um, give us unity as we rebuild Lord God as a church yung mga needs namin you will supply us we pray for a new place of worship na malilipatan namin we pray for divine connection for favor Lord God na patuloy Lord na ihanda niyo po kami as we transition, as we have this transitional period, ma-ready kami, Lord God. We also lift up to you our trainings, Lord, your ongoing life class. Patuloy niyo po i-bless ang bawat uh, kuma-attend dito, makapag-attend pa po yung iba na mga disciples, even, Lord, our upcoming destiny trainings. We pray ngayon pa lang yung mga mag-register, that they will grow, Lord God, to become a leader of leaders, that you will raise them up, Lord God. Lord, even if you're in the midst of challenges, of trials, you have anointed us to multiply. And so we're never gonna stop, Lord God, as you work in us, because you never stop working. We will also keep on working for you together, Lord God, because we know that you have a vision, a purpose, a plan for us. Thank you, Lord God. We also pray for every um, cell leaders, for every family, so that we will continually open cells Lord God, magkakaroon kami ng mga prayer groups. Lord, para mas marami pa kaming madraw closer to you at tatuloy kami mag-win souls at mag-make disciples. Thank you, Lord. We also live up to you. Lahat na may mga sakit, we speak healing on their behalf. We apply your blood over them and we speak, Lord God, healing sa kanila, restoration, Lord God, revival sa kanila, Lord, and they will speak uh, the grace that you have for them, they will testify of your goodness in their lives. Thank you, Lord God. We thank you for this afternoon. We thank you for the power of your word. Thank you for the direction na ibibigay niyo po sa lahat na naghahanap nito, sa mga naliligaw, sa mga nawawala, Lord God, sa mga nalalayo at sa kadiliman. I pray that you draw us close to you as you are our light and our compass. We thank you, Lord God. Thank you for your love, your grace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. So again, we are encouraging everyone to join us sa ating pong upcoming CIA Family Day that is on April 16 and 17. So you can still register at sama-sama po tayo mag-refresh, ma-revive, ma-restore together as a CIA Family. So see you again tomorrow as we have our online daily devotion and prayer. God bless everyone.